stories. Those are the stories that trended this week. But now let's go to the United Arab Emirates and Kenya have pledged to strengthen their ties, especially in solving the climate change question. Now, with the country expected to hold the COP28 in Dubai later this month, speaking during the commemoration of the UAE's 52nd Union Day held at the UAE's embassy here in Nairobi, the UAE ambassador to Kenya, Salim al Nabi, said the bilateral relations between the two nations will continue to thrive. The event, which was graced by Defense Cabinet Secretary Eden Duale, among other leaders, is marked to celebrate the spirit of the union of all the seven Emirates into one nation. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, named 2023 the year of sustainability and that's a slogan today for the future for the purpose of raising awareness about environment and sustainability the uae is working with a global partner to ensure that the cop 28 will be concluded with a practical solution for climate finance just energy transition enhancing life in the planet and making sure the world will translate to action by implementing previous climate agreements and declarations, including Paris Agreement and Nairobi Declaration. As a Minister for Defense, I want to confirm that the United Arab Emirates government is working with the Kenya government at least contributing countries and the frontline states and countries within the Horn of Africa in making sure that peace, security and prosperity is maintained along our borders.